Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be um, quite an interesting topic. Uh, this is my second time making this video because the first time I made this video, I didn't like how tired I looked. It was right after I got off of work. <laughs> I just, I had so much bags under my eyes. Um, but I hope, you know, those who have clicked onto this video, that you are having an open mind um, with hearing with what I have to say. Um, I know some family members and probably some friends, some friends on my channel are going to question me, but I really wanted to um, get this out. Um, and for starters, I'm going to say right off the bat that I only um, I'm explaining my experience of what I've found out, what I've, you know, experienced and went through with Lucifer, and, you know, just to share, share with you guys that in the research that I have done and conducted with him and have gotten about learning about him. Um, you know, to only take what I say as a tool, <clears throat> I don't expect you to be like, you know, to believe in it 100%. I wouldn't want you to. I would want you to follow your own, um, I guess you're like, your own opinions. You know, just, yeah. <laughs> I hope I explained that right. Um, but I have my little paragraph written up here uh, to try and make myself a little organized with this video. So... Yeah, I will also explain um, some things, like offerings, his colors, and things like that, if you wish to work with him. So, yes. <clears throat> Alright. So, Lucifer is a light bearer, the shiny one associated with Venus, and both masculine and feminine. However, I have noticed Lucifer to be a little more feminine, if for anything, but of course he can change to how, or whoever, um... <laughs> He wants to be perceived by that person. For me, it is a feminine, feminine yet handsome male. Uh, so I will be describing Lucifer as a he from now on. He is quite a mystery. If I could say, I feel like he would resemble the god Shiva in artwork. How beautiful yet handsome he is. Yes. Um, he has several faces and disguises. The name is in fact... A name to be earned, such as Satan is. There can be many Satans and many Lucifers. In my research, it seems he has several but one, if that makes sense. He has these dark aspects, and then he has these lighter aspects. You can call upon either one, and one of those avatars will show and represent Lucifer. Um, I would also like to, to say, before I continue, um... There is the Lucifer and there is the Satan. Uh, but, you know, I don't want to act like I'm, you know, saying like, oh, well, there is no such thing as that. Uh, that there is just a title. No, I, I, I don't want to. That's not what I'm trying to get at. <laughs> um, so just a, a, a fair warning, I guess. I don't know. Um, I just, I don't want people to think like, I don't know, that I'm just saying, like, oh, well, Satan doesn't exist type of deal, and he does, and there is the Satan, it's just, um, it, the name can also be used as a title, uh, from my experience that I've learned, and, you know, yeah, <laughs> uh, anyways, he uses these avatars because he himself is very potent, um, I would say, <laughs> and quite powerful, um, possibly too powerful for us humans to even face, similar to how it is to look at the sun and then being blinded by it by looking at it for too long. <laughs> His energy is also similar to how the violet flame is, and is just really amazing to work with. Um, <clears throat> these avatars are just several aspects of him, um, similar to how us, how... <laughs> Similar to how, for us humans, our entire soul cannot fit into a human body. Only a little bit of it can, which is why we have our higher self, our past self, and our future self, and so forth. 
It's the reason for psychic mediums are able to get in touch with past loved ones. Their soul is still within the divine. The whole thing isn't reincarnated. Um, I would also like to admit that this could be followed possibly uh, if you are an omniist as well. Um, and regarding that too, so what I, what I mean by that, um, there's a little diagram that I saw. I don't know the whole thing, but I know it's like these elements that make up you. One of them is put into a human body. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Another one is considered to be your higher self. And then another one is more like your spirit guide and so forth. Um, <clears throat> gosh. Ugh. My throat is bugging me today because of my allergies. Um, but anyways. <laughs> Something happened during the great divide of good and evil. Bad and good, if you will. Lucifer agreed to help people raise their awareness to know who they are and how capable they are. He divided himself similar to how us humans were made, to allow himself and other entities to come down here and help us, while the higher self remains where it must. Um, he did this once the God who created us just liked it us, in the sense of being aware of how we are and can be, or a lack of term, if you will. Something happened, however, that was to frame Lucifer and make it mostly everyone and everything believe he was bad at one point. You have the good aspects, the gray aspects, and then you have the dark aspects, each in which he allowed to be its own. This is why some people have bad experiences with him. Sometimes even his own demons get the best of him, like us humans with depression. They also share the same memories, so each avatar share the same the same thought forms and memories and things like that. Um, Lucifer adapted and named Lucifer. His actual name is not Lucifer. It is a greatly mistaken name that continues to be mistaken. However, be aware, even he has several names along with the fact he has several faces. If you ever see black cracks forming on his skin, however, it means from my own experience that he's using up a lot of energy to keep that form or disguise. Usually this has happened when he's fighting in a specific form because he is both using his energy for that form and energy for fighting. It depletes a little more faster and I believe this happens with other entities as well. Sometimes it looks like skin is um, breaking off as if a porcelain doll would. Um, so yes, that's pretty much all that I have gathered from working with him and my experience of working with him. Uh, he has been in pretty much all my past lives, even this one. Um, and honestly, he I wish he didn't have such a bad rap. I wish people would understand, you know, that he he's really, really amazing to work with. <clears throat> so, yes. And I have my grimoire here. And if I can find a page, I will tell you guys the correspondences with him. Haha. <laughs> here it is. Alright, so. Um, oh yeah, I actually wanted to explain to you guys how I've seen him. Um, so... <laughs> Um, he, the, the version that I saw him growing up when I was like eight, uh, he had very black hair that was short, I guess emo-ish looking. <laughs> he had very pale skin and very gorgeous deep blue eyes that were, they were like, I guess like a royal blue color eye. Um, he was very tall. I roughly would say 6'3 or 6'4 and I'm 5'3 <laughs> so he was really really tall um, but yes I have seen him though where he has orange hair sometimes it's a little curly um, he usually is always well-dressed and what I mean by that is that he um, 
is usually always wearing a suit or just something that's very dressy. He usually has rings all on his fingers. <laughs> um, sometimes he will have piercings, I've noticed, especially in his ears. Um, but it really depends on, I guess, like how he wants to be perceived, how he looks and things like that. Um, I have seen him when his hair was blonde and sometimes his eyes will change color as well to where, you know, he'll have black hair and then orange eyes or he'll have, you know, his blonde hair and then he'll have his blue eyes. So he really switches it up. Um, but energy wise and stuff, you know, he's definitely a force not to be reckoned with. <laughs> um, He's, he's really amazing. He's a great listener. He will help you, uh, especially with shadow work. He is great with that, breaking down barriers, um, and just helping you to become the best version of yourself. If you want to find out certain things, he'll guide you, but he won't want to give you the whole full answer, especially if he knows you can go deep within yourself to find those answers he would rather you do that and then he'll kind of give you hints here and there so that you can learn um that was also I'd like to say that his energy is also very creative and inspiring um it's very nice and just like a such a wonderful presence um and you know my experience with him whoo it really it, oh man, I don't even know really how to, to word it. Um, it was very personal, but I guess I, if I have to say, you know, he's um, he wants me to be his his high priestess, so I'm working with him a lot um, with that aspect. Um, I am actually God spouse to him. I don't really like to discuss it very much. I'm not very open about it because of how personal it is. But for the sake of this video, I will actually say that I am. Um, maybe I'll be a little more open with it later down the road. But with how things are, things I've experienced through him and stuff, it's just very personal. And I'm not sure if I want to express that to the public, <laughs> if you will. Um, but yes, um, I have witnessed him in the realms with the suffering he's gone through with him questioning himself as well whether he is good or bad like people perceive him um and you know i don't think a lot of people understand that you know the gods and goddesses and spirits in general they can feel the same way we do they can, you know, have these emotions and feel the same way that we do, especially if we're fighting demons, um, like with our depression and anxiety. They can feel that too, and they can go through that. Um, so yes, um, I, I'll just say that for now. <laughs> um, anyways, but with the correspondences of him, we'll go through with the herbs, and I'll probably put a list on the, the screen of um, some herbs, or the, the, the correspondences pretty much. So with herbs, um, it's cinnamon, clove, cedar, sulfur, rose, lavender, wormwood, sandalwood, jasmine, <laughs> hibiscus, carnations, patchouli, camphor, yarrow, hyssops, tobacco, and something that I've come to the realization that he just keeps he loves it. He loves it so much. <laughs> um, if it's legal in your state, I would highly suggest sprinkling some of it onto a candle, uh, but that is cannabis. He quite enjoys cannabis. <laughs> Maybe include it into an oil. <laughs> um, some other things that he likes is wine, apples, pomegranate, and chocolate absolutely loves chocolate. Um, uh, brain fart. <laughs> Some crystals that he's associated with and that is very good to work with him is topaz, rubies, diamonds, sapphire, beryl, 
I'll put your name right there. <laughs> I'm not sure if I said that right. Amethyst, lapis, tourmaline, and moldavite. Something interesting that I heard about with moldavite is that um, when he fell from the heavens, his crown was adorned or had um, stones of moldavite. And I thought that was really interesting because of how moldavite is when you work with it as well. Um, his energies work very well with moldavite. <laughs> Um, his colors really range, but from what I've experienced, it's white, red, black, and orange. You can use white, you can use pink, you can use blue. You can even use yellow. <laughs> um, <clears throat> his animals that he is associated with and also likes from what I've noticed is swans, ravens and crows, cats, snakes, goats, and peacocks. Um, he is also sometimes associated with spiders, so fair warning. <laughs> um, but I, I will say that his experience with you might be completely different. He might use a different animal to, you know, get your attention and things like that, or that what he wants you to work with through him, if that makes sense. Some incense as well as frankincense, myrrh, sandalwood, and dragon's blood. Um, I also wrote a prayer to him. Well, I'm, I wrote several. Um, <clears throat> maybe I'll put it on the screen, or maybe I'll make a little, um, like, Book of Shadows pages and put it onto my page so you guys can, like, save it to your phone or, you know, print it out or whatever. I also have an oil that I would like to make, um, perhaps on to the channel. I don't know when, but I would like to show you guys how to make an oil for him that you can use in whatever workings you do with him or just as an offering. So, yes. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope um, what I explain kind of helps, helps to enlighten you all. Uh, maybe make you want to work with him. Um, he is very gentle, very caring. He is very patient as well. Um, so I, I would say, like, don't, don't be scared to work with him. <laughs> uh, he can also be really good if you want to learn more about death work and necromancy. I will say that as well. If you want to do healing, um, him and Raphael are amazing together. <laughs> But sometimes when Raphael comes into the picture, it's like my ADHD picks up immediately, like just takes off, and yeah. <laughs> but I hope you all have a very good day. Again, I hope this video was of some help to, you know, maybe you can get some information from my experience that I have had with him. If you guys are curious about some other things about him, um, if I am comfortable enough, I will make a video about what you're wanting to know or um, curious about. If you guys want more information about some of the experiences I went through with him, I can also do that. Um, it just probably depends on the experience because a lot of it was very emotional seeing the pain that he had to go through. Um, so yes, I will finally end this video. I hope you all have a very good day. Goodbye. And I will talk to you all later. <laughs> Bye.